What's up, everybody, and welcome to episode 15 of Motivation With Me. So I really just wanted to get on and wear my glasses. Like, I'm in love with these glasses, y'all. Like, seriously. But I cannot wear glasses when I'm doing my videos because that glare from my ring light drives me insane. So unless I talk to y'all like this and I don't want to talk to y'all like this. So I'm going to take these off since I didn't show them. And I'm like super blind, but I can see myself. <laughs> Let me quit playing. So first, don't do my bun because I am recording this video on uh, the 21st of February. And it is literally the Sunday after we have in Houston went through complete hell. And I'm not talking about hot. Because this freeze in this situation that we have been through, listen, listen, listen. I ain't never took so many pot baths in my life, okay? I feel like a bird. I literally had the boiled water pot on the stove taking a bird bath, like, for real. As I'm sure everybody else did. So, I haven't had a chance to wash my hair. I'm looking real rough. Don't care to put no makeup on. Whatever. But nevertheless, I still wanted to get on here and do episode 15. We ready for 2021 and give some 2021 motivation, especially at a time like this, because not only are we dealing with a pandemic, but we have also, again, in Houston and surrounding areas, Dallas, I know Louisiana has some freezing, uh, a few places had freezing, and we just went through a really rough week. Um, a lot of people, most people didn't have electricity. Most people didn't have water. I know I didn't have either. My family didn't have either. My friends didn't have either. My Facebook people didn't have either. Like we was out here real life struggling. Okay. Houston is not built for that type of weather. Like at all. First of all. Okay. Edges. Okay. Y'all don't want to lay. I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow. But it's really like when I tell y'all. And I'm I'm really, you know, really open about my mental health and how I feel about things. But even in the midst of me having these mental health issues, I literally still give motivation. Like, I can't help it. Like, it's literally my God-given purpose because God is always, like, just motivation. Like, do it. <laughs> like, what are you doing? And I get past what I'm going through and kind of put that aside so that I can motivate others. And I literally had the hardest time this week. And it wasn't, it was just the irritation. Like, it was just so irritating moving from place to place and not being able to work, not getting paid, not having lights and water. And it was really the water that got me. I can deal with not having electricity because I love candles and I would like them all over the place. Um, I had about four comforters on me and end up getting hot. But the no water thing is a serious struggle. And I just, I couldn't, that one was tough for me. Like, that one hit me hard. And then watching, like, my people suffer, too. It was like, oh, my God, I want to do something, but I can't do nothing. Um, but shout out to the Relief Gang and everybody who did do something during this time. Like, y'all are awesome. Like, completely awesome. So, shout out to y'all. Round of applause. Y'all did a wonderful job. I have seen on social media everything that everybody has done. I am extremely proud. I'm extremely happy. Because the thing I can say about Houston, when we go through stuff, whether it was Harvey, like Amelda, the tax day flood, Labor Day flood, like all the stuff we went through, we always come together. Like Houston Strong is a real thing. Like we literally stick together. Like Houston will combine resources, collaborate, and make sure it happens. Like H-Town all day. Like, period. On oh, period. That's a wrap. So, I wanted to come quickly and give some 2021 motivation because of all the things that we're going through. In my previous video, it was 2020, we made it. Like, we literally made it through 2020. And I know, like, I know for me and a lot of people that I know going into 2021, it's kind of like we had this idea of, okay, it's a new year. We're going to come in strong. Like, we're going to do this. Like, praying 2021 was better. It's going to be better. And I want us to keep that same energy. 
like despite what's going on despite that it's still a pandemic despite that we have all this different up and down with the weather and the freeze and the, the what we just went through and now let me tell y'all like no joke it's like 70 some degrees outside and we literally just came from 20 some degrees i don't understand it allergies are horrible but the fact that we all went into this year like okay this is a new year we're gonna do new things i know for me specifically my i won't call it a new year's resolution because i'm not really that's not the word for me but my goal going into 2021 and uh, really my promise to myself and my promise to god is that i will go into 2021 with peace like i want my 2021 to be peaceful i don't want i did not want to bring negative energy into 2021 and it took me until recently to kind of really get into my energy and kind of hone in on my inner peace and take it as serious as I do. And I learned like the benefit in that. Like I declutter my house. I sage. I do like all these different things. I meditate. I pray. I go in my closet. Like I take my peace very seriously. You cannot come into my house if you have negative energy. I'm not having it. Like, even with my boyfriend, when he comes over here, if he's having a bad day, I'm like, hold up, stop, wait a minute. I'm going to need you to go outside and come back in because you just bringing all that negative energy into my house and I'm not feeling it. Now, yes, I do have my negative times. I do fuss a lot. I do have my days when I'm yelling. I do have my days when I may be breaking down. But at the end of the day, I literally will do that, cut on some worship music, and it's a wrap. Okay? I'm done. That's it. Back to being peaceful. And... That's, you know, this week was hard for me and it wasn't, it was just really irritation. Like I was just so irritated because it was so much work that people had to do. And I just feel like it wasn't fair that we had to do this. But nevertheless, we did it. We made it through. And we are now on the other side because again, it's like 70 degrees. But I want us to remember in 2021, don't base it off of what has happened in 2020. Don't base it off of what's going on negative in the world. I want us to focus on the positive things. I want us to focus on what our goals are. Like we can still do this. Like we ready. We ready, sis. We ready, bro. And I just told one of my kids that today they called me for advice on something. And I was like, you have to learn how to like hone in and become one with your inner peace. And until you do that, like I literally just learned it and I'm 28 years old. And until you do that, things are going to be hard. Things are going to affect you, but you have to learn that you are in control of your life and how you feel. Yes, God is number one in control, but you are in control on what you let bother you and what you don't, who you let in your life and who you don't. Like negative, toxic people, are you keeping them in your life or are you getting rid of them? Like you are in control of that. And I don't keep negative people in my circle at all. Like everybody in my circle is completely positive. Like we do positive energy around here. We not, nah, I don't do that toxic stuff. And if I feel like you toxic, you got to go, period, point blank. That's in discussion. So reevaluate and figure out like what in my life can I get rid of? in 2021 that's bad for me or that's bad for my energy or bad for my peace and toxic to me think about that if it's a family member if it's a friend maybe it's something that you're doing a relationship it could be anything like reevaluate. just sit there and take a moment get into a quiet place and sit there and evaluate look that i'm literally about to start meditating right now this is ridiculous but <laughs> sit there and evaluate what can I get rid of? Like, or what can I do to offset the negative things that I'm going through or the negative energy that I have? What is my goal? What is something I can do for myself? For me, I color. Um, shout out to Brittany Daniel, who uh, is Writer B LLC. She has a coloring book um, that I love to color. Like I will literally sit there and color and it's like an adult coloring book that is so relaxing <laughs> like it's a real life thing and i write 
I do even my YouTube videos. Like I love doing my YouTube videos. I really wish I had time to do more, but with the Trouble Movement, Victorian Publishing, my accounting clients, my part-time job at the school, it's really hard to kind of sit time aside to do my YouTube videos. But I love my YouTube channel so much because it's my platform and my voice is how I motivate people. Like my voice is everything, whether it's advocacy, awareness, or motivation. Like this mouth. God gave it to me so that I can speak positively, period. Like, this is everything to me. So find something that's your craft. Like, find something that's going to bring you peace. Find a way. And I was also telling one of my kids earlier, um, I talk to myself. <laughs> like, no joke. <clears throat> I talk to myself. So I will literally sit here and have a whole conversation with myself. Like, not on a crazy note but just kind of like if i feel myself getting upset about something or if i feel myself just kind of not being me i literally be like miranda bro breathe like get it together don't hurt nobody don't throw no tvs you are not that angry person anymore you're gonna be fine it's gonna be fine god is there you got this sis like just hold my peace i tell god hold my peace <laughs> because my attitude can get crazy i used to be an angry person but i started talking to myself and even when i get down and i want to quit or i want to give up on doing something and i'm like oh my god i'm so tired god like i cannot do this i literally backdoor will tell myself like girl are you what what are you saying right now like what are you what are you saying like no get it together like you can do this you can do this don't give up what are you doing we didn't came this far for you to give up now like we're not doing that and i will literally sit there and tell that to myself out loud and like literally sit there and have a conversation with myself because i'm telling myself i'm offsetting the negative thoughts that i have because i never actually say negative things out loud like i'll say i'm tired but I never say, oh, my God, I want to quit. Oh, my God, I want to give up. Like, I never actually say negative things out loud. I always think them. So I offset them with positive words out loud verbally. Like, no, sis, you not going to give up. Like, we not doing this. I will literally sit there and tell myself that. I'll cut on my worship music. I'll, And then it's a wrap. I'm at peace again. But I bring myself back in. Like, it's okay to do that. Because you have to offset negative energy with positive energy. And we are still in going into the beginning of 2021. It's only February. Yes, we still have a pandemic. Yes, now we have a new president. I don't touch on politics. I'm not doing it. That's not my thing. Um, we have, you know, so much going on already. Like, we just got here. Like, why? We just got here. But we ready. Like, we literally have this, guys. Like, we have this. Just take a minute and forget everything in the past. Forget everything that has already happened. Like, I literally just have this conversation with my boyfriend. Don't focus on something that has already happened. It's over. You can't take it back. Like, it's done. It's a wrap. <laughs> like, it, it passed. It's it's already a new day. It's a new hour, whatever. And if it's something that's an ongoing thing, then find a way to offset whatever that ongoing negative thing is. So, like, say, for instance, if your boyfriend get on your nerves or your mama getting on your nerves because, mama, I love you, but mm -hmm, your family driving you crazy. Your kids driving you crazy. Like, if it's something that's ongoing, then, okay, find something that's going to replace that negative energy. Like, take a step back and be like, okay. Let me reassess the situation. So you have to talk to yourself. You have to find what you need. But I promise you, I promise you right now at this very moment, I promise you, you're going to be okay. Like manifest it. I'm a big person on manifestation. We don't do negative uh, comments. We don't bring, oh, well, uh, the worst is going to happen. This is going to happen. Like this is going to go wrong. This is going to go wrong. Especially if you have anxiety like me. Because people with anxiety always automatically assume the worst in every situation. I'm not doing that. Like, I'm, I, we're manifesting positive things. We're not going to say anything negative, okay? Don't even think about it. And if you do think about it, I want you to counteract that with something positive. So if you say, no, I can't do this, you better back door and say, yes, I can. 
you better back door and say, nah, like you got me messed up. I got this. I'm not finna give up. I don't care what it is. I don't care what situation it is. You, you got this, you know? And if for my, for me and for those like me, I pull out, I pull out the Bible. <laughs> like I pull out the word. Do you hear me? I will pull out the word, do a Bible study, write prayers to God, talk to God, pray to God, get in the closet. I'm going full in all the way. So when I'm talking to him, because I have conversations with him out loud as well, like we be talking. Um, I have conversations with myself. And the thing is, see, when when I talk to God, I talk to God like this, like <laughs> <dog>. <laughs> Why this so hard? <laughs> like, why you doing this to me? Like, I don't want to. Because God is our father. So sometimes, like, I really talk to him like I'm a spoiled little girl. Like, I'm a spoiled daughter. And I be like, hey, I get it. Like, I get it. You don't have to keep doing this. Like, come on. What are we what are we doing? Give me a sign. Give me something. I need something to do. Like what got my way. Like, come on, bro. Like I literally talk to him like that because for one, he knows who I am. And for two, like, you know, yes, I do pray in a standard prayer manner, but you can talk to God the way you want to, the way that's comfortable for you. He knows how I am. Y'all know who I am. Everybody knows how Miranda Evans is. I'm coming straight blunt, no chases. I'm going to talk to you in the way I feel comfortable because when you can have a conversation with yourself, with God, or with your peers that you trust to vent to and have conversations with, then do it in a way that's comfortable for you. It doesn't have to be a certain way. You don't have to pray a certain way. There's no specific way that you have to do it. It's no specific words that you have to use. There's no specific length that it has to be. Sometimes it literally can be as short as, God, I need your help. God, I need you to keep me. Like, God, I need you. Like, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm grateful. It could be, Lord, protect me as I drive down this road. Protect my friends. It could be quick and to the point. It ain't got to be a long, drawn-out prayer. That's not, it don't have to be like that. So, because sometimes I need so much that I just, I just say, Lord, help me. You know what I need. Like, Lord, help me <laughs> because I need so much that I just, Lord, help me. Because at the end of the day, he knows what I need better than I know. And he know it's already written. So don't, I'm going to take you out of church. Ooh, and it's Sunday too. I'm not going to take you out of church. I promise I was going to start keeping my videos shorter so they can be quick and to the point. But I will, I'm the, mm. Ooh. Sometimes I be this spirit, y'all. Like, I'm telling you, when I get the going, I get the going. But, you know, Romans 28, 828, me and Christians say that all the time. Like, it's a Romans 828 moment. Like, get into your word. Find specific scriptures that are dedicated to you. I don't care if it's just one. Like, put it somewhere. Post it. Repeat it every single day. Like, literally repeat it every day. Memorize it. Say it when you get in the car. Say it when you go to bed. Say it when you wake up. Say it when you eat like find something that's going to offset that negative energy because what we're not going to do is we're not going to bring that into 2021 do you hear what i'm saying okay do you hear what i'm saying we're not doing that this year yes you're going to have trials and tribulations they're gonna happen because again let me go back to the word in this world you will have tribulation but be of good cheer before i have overcome the world do you hear me so life is not going to be perfect it's not going to be perfect by any means. It was not meant to be perfect. You were meant to go through trials and tribulations because Lord knows that I have been through it all. I have been through hell and back. Do you understand? But I'm still doing what God called me to do. There's always a positive ending to a negative situation. Okay. We can't have a testimony without a test. Do you understand? Can I get an amen? Okay, so in 2021, we're coming into with a positive mindset. Yes, we're going to have things that come to us. But what we're going to do is we're going to offset that. We're going to find what it is that's going to help us offset this negative energy, this negative thinking, these negative words. We're not doing that. We're not doing negativity. I'm bringing motivation all year. Yes, I will touch on other topics because my next video is going to be uh, celibacy and relationships. 
Um, but at the same time, I don't call myself, this is not motivation with me for no reason. I don't call myself a motivator for no reason. It is what I do. I don't care what mood I'm in. I don't care what I'm going through. If somebody need me, I'm dropping it and I'm going to give you some type of motivation. Yes, I will listen because sometimes people just need to vent and talk. I'm all for it. Like just get it out, get it out, get it out. And if you ask me for my motivation, for my opinion, I'm going to give it to you. That's what it's going to be. It's it's natural. It's natural. Like, I literally have my kids call me all the time. Like, Miss Miranda, I need. I got this going on. I need such and such. I need some motivation. I have adults, my friends. I have people who I don't even know. Like, I don't even know that will get in my inbox and ask me questions and ask me for motivation on something that may comment on this YouTube video or any of my YouTube videos, which by the way, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe while you're here because why not? It's literally the click of a button. So I'm not understanding why you ain't subscribed yet. Because my goal is to get to a certain number of subscribers because this YouTube channel about to be on and popping. Because I miss it so much. And in 2021, I am also going to be better with that. So we're gonna write down our goals. We're going to keep our positive affirmations. And I know you're like, why she always say the same thing over and over? Do you realize that I always say if you repeat something over and over, then it starts to manifest and it starts to happen. It becomes repetitive in your mind. That's why I keep telling you the same thing. Because I don't think you heard me the first five times. I'm saying it again for the people in the back. That's why I always say the same thing because I'm trying to get it through your head. I'm trying to get this motivation into you. Okay, so I'm going, yes, yeah, sometimes I do say the same thing because you might not have heard me the first time or the second time or the third time. Or you might need it right at this moment as soon as this video drops. This might be the first thing you see it come across your timeline. And then you say, okay, well, let me go back. Because I've had people do that. They'll watch this and like, hold on, I got to watch the whole channel. And it never gets old. It never gets old. So, my bad, y'all. My nose is itching. Y'all know I ain't got no filter. So, we ready. At the end of the day, I'm coming up on 22 minutes. So, we ready. Period. 2021, we coming for you. Okay, despite COVID, wear your mask. Please, Lord, wear your mask. Wash your hands. Sanitizer, y'all. Come on, we got to get these numbers down. Like, we calling it the new normal. And are we going to go back to normal and I have already decided <clears throat> I'm going to create my own new normal. Like, I'm going to create my own normal. Because at this point, I, I my honest opinion, and I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, and I'm not being pessimistic when I say this, we're not going to go back to the life and the way things were before COVID. It's just not going to happen. But that does not mean we can't create a new way of normal that works for us. You can recreate. Like, have you ever thought that God is telling you to recreate something that's normal for you? You can take something bad and turn it into something for your good. I have seen people create businesses. I mean, my businesses are flourishing out here. Do you hear me? My small businesses, my black owned businesses. I see y'all. I see y'all on social media doing your thing. Okay, so there is some positive things. There's some growth. There's some strong energy, some power coming out of a negative situation. It's not just about it's a pandemic. You know, God, rest the souls of the people who we have lost. That is hurtful. But at the same time, we need to focus on the positive part. Because I know for me, I've lost a lot of people in my life, including my grandmother, who means everything to me. And if she was here, she'd be like, what you crying for? Why you sad? What are you doing? You're not giving up. We don't do that. Like you started a whole company in my name to create my legacy. So what are you doing? No, no, ma'am. I'm in a better place and I am with you every step of the way. So I'm going to need you to get it together, Shane. And for those who don't know, Shan, it's a, it's a Louisiana word. It's like sweetie. But she not for it. <laughs> like the people who we have lost, they want what's best for you. 
They want what's best for you. They don't want you to sit there and be sad and struggling and hurting. They want what's best for you. They want you to find that inner strength inside of you. I always call it the inner lion or lioness. And I don't, Leos don't, whatever. I'm a Virgo. But I want you to find that inner lion, that inner power, because it's sitting in there. Just release it. Just release it. It's 2021. We still got time. It's February. It's Black History Month. Power. <laughs> Lord, don't get me started on Black History Month. Listen, <laughs> that's going to be a whole other video. Black Lives Matter. But um, it's February. Like, we still got time. Okay, we ready for this. We ready. I cannot say that enough. We are ready. She is ready. He is ready. We are ready. Period. That's it. And that's, <laughs> I was talking to Christian today. That's a, what is this? Uh, What's the new thing? That's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. Like, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know where y'all get this stuff from. But it's, that's that on that. I said what I said. Whatever the word is of social media today, that's what it is. Okay, so I want y'all to remember that. I also, again, like, comment, and subscribe. That is episode 15. So for the next episode, and I've been wanting to do this for so long, y'all. I apologize because I was supposed to do this like way last year. And I'm so mad because this headband is sliding back on my head. Y'all can see my itch. <laughs> I'm going to wash my head tomorrow. I can't keep walking around like this. But again, freeze, no water. Um, and if you're still struggling, I am praying for you. I'm praying for everybody right now. Like I am just, y'all, people who know me know when I say I'm praying for you, I'm dead serious. Like I am literally serious. You can ask anybody who know me. I will write it down and come back a year later and send it to you. And like, remember this? And it's already been answered. I have, un I have my prayer jar and my prayer, my prayer book. In my prayer box and every year i go through it and i take out the answered prayers and if they were for somebody i send it to them and then i put it i tape it in a notebook for my answer prayers i go through it every year and you'd be amazing how many prayers i pull out answered 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 it's amazing like it's amazing if you need more tips on things that you can do other than you know what i said if i need to write it down to you email it to you send you a list all kind of stuff. Make it a card to post on the mirror, on the wall. Just let me know. Put it in the comments. DM me on Instagram or Facebook or message me. My information is below in the description. Let me know because I'm here for it because we got this and we can do this. And I'm going to end this video because I'm trying to keep it under 30 minutes, y'all, because them notes be kind of long because I be getting into it, like, for real, for real. And I love y'all so much i miss y'all so much and i'm gonna keep doing these youtube videos like for real there's another commitment i'm making in 2021 is this gotta get her youtube channel on and popping like i got too much word i got too much wisdom to not be out here doing this um and if y'all ever see me in the same outfit that mean i recorded two videos in one day okay so don't judge me so don't don't do that. I was gonna do the other video tonight, but I'm a little tired. And it's eleven eighteen. But you know, I just had to throw that out there. Um, I love y'all so much. Like, mwah. I just want to give hugs and kisses to everybody. Like, I hate COVID because I can't love on people. And despite the fact that people say I'm mean, I really do have a big heart. And for those who are suffering because of the freeze or who have suffered, I promise you, you got this. Like, yes, it was a lot on our uh, mental health. It was a lot on us. We were frustrated. People went sex baths. We was tired. Like, people was cold. Like, it was a it was a very sad situation. But again, we made it through. Shout out to H Town because we came together. Okay, we had friends, family houses we was going to, hotels we were finding. Like, we came together. And for that, I love my city. And I love y'all. So, again, this is episode 15. We ready. 2021 coming through with positivity and motivation from your girl, Miranda Evans, with Elements of Me. And this is Motivation with Me. <laughs>